Hey there, this is Tom from TechieDIY.com and today I wanted to give a short overview of the QR code generator software and rather than do one of my normal tutorial style videos I thought it might be fun to do a let's play style video where you can watch me play around with the software and use it in different situations and you can get an idea how it works and what you can do with it. So let's get started. So if you've installed the QR code generator, you'll have a little icon on your desktop that looks like this. So I'll go ahead and get that started. Now in the software, there are a number of built-in formats. And basically how these work are you you know you just fill in the information and you know whatever information you want to pass along and you hit generate. I didn't know email was required. Okay. Okay, so there's our QR code and when someone scans this particular code it's going to send them my name, my phone number and all that type of information. And there are a number of built-in formats. There's one for SMS, uh, there's email, there's phone but I want to direct your attention to the text box because here is where you can really experiment with this software and try out some of the different formats so for example let's head over to this website this is from code.google.com and this is a great resource right here for QR code formats so you can see here We've got the basic URL that a lot of people use QR codes for. They want to send somebody to a web page or a website. That's pretty basic stuff. You have email, you have contact information. Now this is where things get a little interesting. So you can create a QR code that when it's scanned sends somebody all of your contact information. You can see the example here. You've got name, address, phone number, email, uh, and website. And let me show you how that one works. That one's a, a kind of a cool one to me. So as you saw before there's already a built-in form but I want to show you the text box. By the way the built-in form I've noticed a problem when you have all the fields filled out and some some of the scanners aren't parsing the data correctly. So I don't know if that's a problem with the format that this soft, particular piece of software is using or if it's the QR code scanner uh, but I'm not too worried about that because I particularly stick to using text and I copy these different formats and make my QR codes that way. Let me show you what I mean. So I want to create a new one with my contact information. So I've got a string here. What I did basically is uh, with this string you can see here in my text editor is I just copied this from this web page. I copied the string and I just replaced my own information and saved it here. And so let me copy this and I'll put that in the QR code generator software. And I'll generate a code. Okay, it's a lot of information, so I need to use a higher version number or a lower correction level. By the way, I probably should explain what these do. These basically control the size and resolution of your QR codes. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. Okay, I had to pause the video there for a moment because I wanted to make sure that I explained this correctly so I went and looked it up. So the higher the number on version means that you'll generate a larger QR code. And so most people, they want to have the smallest one possible. So you want to stick to a lower number. The problem is when there's a lot of data, like when sending contact information, you're not going to be able to have a really small QR code because there's a lot of data encoded into the, the image. So that's what version does. The software will tell you, let's see, let's choose a really low number. Let's try uh, 6. See, so it will tell you that the, the version size is, is, the version is too small. So you need to choose a higher one. Now correction level, this has to do with 
a scanner being able to effectively scan a broken code or a code that is missing a piece or, or part of it uh, didn't show up in the scanner. And so there's different settings for that. So uh, it goes low to high. And I'm not sure what Q stands for. So the highest would mean that probably has more detail and is able to, here we go. So the higher level means there's probably enough information in here to be read by most scanners under different circumstances. So you just, like I do, you just play around with these. Uh, you know, I try to leave it on H, which is the highest for correction level, and then try to go as low as possible to have the smallest barcode that I can have. Wow, okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's that's pretty big, but for demonstration purposes, this will work, or else we'll be here all day. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how this contact information QR code works. I'm going to launch uh, Idigma on my Android phone here. And let's go ahead and scan this. There we go. Now look at this. I know it's, it's tough to see, but so the software has recognized that I have sent my contact information. You can see my name, my phone number, email, website address. And there's a button there on the software that says save to contact. So I didn't have to type uh, any of this information in. It's really nice. And that's what's really cool about QR codes. So you can imagine, you can have this, this, I could have this particular code if I could reduce the size down a little bit. I could have it on my business card. And when I hand out my business card, people can use their phones to scan the information and I can get right into their contacts without having them uh, have to type anything. Okay, let's go back to that uh, web page from Google we were looking at earlier. So uh, I just demonstrated how you can send contact information. You can send an SMS using a QR barcode. There's even, uh, this is interesting, you can even send a uh, URI for the Android market. Haven't tried that one yet. Wi-Fi config information, this one's really cool. So I did try it actually and it didn't work with a name of software. But you imagine you're in a, um, an office or someone's house and they have a QR code on the wall. So if you want to get on their, their network for internet access, you can just you know take your phone and, and scan the code on the wall and have internet access. So uh, that's pretty cool iCal, of course. I think I skipped over a really cool one. Here, here, Here's another one I wanted to show. So you can send the geographic information, and I was playing with this uh, just before this, making this video, and I thought this was really cool. Now, um, the iEnigma software doesn't recognize the geo format, which uh, if you can see right here is what it looks like. But I found a way around that for now. And, you know, anyone who's watching this, if you know of something better than Enigma, or at least uh, I like Enigma because it's it seems to be pretty fast and it's it's consistent with most codes that I scan but if you know of one that supports this geo format I'd love to hear about it so just leave a comment or uh, you know use a contact form on my website and you know please uh, pass that on to me but I'm sure at some point Enigma will these formats if they become standards I'm sure Enigma will support them but let me demonstrate this one real quick this is the longitude and latitude for Google's New York office. So I'm just going to copy format real quick and we'll load it up into the software. So let me uh, delete everything that's in this text box here and let's put in the geo format and generate a new code. Let's see if we can make it smaller. That's fine for demonstration purposes. And I was, as I was saying, I couldn't get Enigma uh, to work, but I did get uh, Google Goggles to work on this uh, geocode. So, see it's analyzing there. Okay, there we go. It's uh, recognized the code. Okay, so what you can see here is that a map is is popping up. Whoops. So you can see that Google Goggles recognized the geo format and it's popped up a map here, which I think is really cool. You know, and it's not as fast as the Enigma software, but uh, it's a nice little workaround here until 
Enigma starts supporting that format. So those are some of the cool things you can do uh, with this software and play around with uh, QR codes. Now you can get this software at my website techediy.com. There are two versions. There's a five dollar uh, quote unquote pro version. Uh, the pro version doesn't have any ads and there's a free version that does have ads. So I'm using the free version so you're getting a preview of what the free version looks like. So I've got uh, an ad in here and there's supposed to be a little click ad down here and with the free version uh, to get it you just go to uh, a web page. I'll have the link in the description for this video I'll have the link where you can where you can download. You just need to sign up for our newsletter and you can get a copy of the software for free. And then the five dollar one there's um, there's a link on the website to get that and as I said that doesn't have the ads and also I offer limited support on that one so if you have any questions or need any help with the software uh, you get premium support by using the five dollar version so that means you send me an email and I'll respond as quickly as I can whereas with the free version you send me an email and you know I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it so that's the difference between the two versions so download the software and play around with it and uh, you know regardless of whether you have the the free or paid version you know send me an email and if you have any questions so I hope this video has been helpful and thanks very much for watching